Hey there, today on the Dohyo, we are just going to be doing a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about here on the Dohyo. So, let's get ready for a soft throw! Wacha! Focus! Ha! Today is just the welcome to the doyo. Welcome to the first official episode. Welcome to Mr. JWags channel. I'm Mr. JWags, and we are going to be talking about sumo. Some questions you probably have. Well, my name is Jonathan Wagner. I'm an actor musician who lives in New York City. If you're interested in anything uh, that I do on that side of my life, uh, there's a whole extra part of the channel designed specifically for that. But if you're just here for a sumo, great. Hang out here. We will talk sumo. We are going to talk about sumo, primarily top division sumo. We're going to talk a little bit about the lower divisions, but usually only when we're talking about young wrestlers who are coming up and dominating, or veterans who have dropped down into the junior ranks and are working their way back up. Love you, Ikioi. Come back to us so strong this January. Good question. I don't know, you've listened this far, so apparently you must like something I'm saying or you're in a place where you can't turn off your computer. In which case, I think you should try to call 911 and see if they can help you out from underneath something heavy. But if you find this entertaining, if you find this engaging, if you think I know anything about sumo that you find interesting, please come back. But what I most want is to start a discussion. I want to start a discussion in the sumo community. So I don't want this to be a one-way giving of information. I want to hear your opinions. Most of you know more than me about sumo, so I'd love for you to lay it on me. I want to learn more about sumo, I want more people to know more about sumo, and I want everyone to get involved and learn about this sport. So anyone who wants to have access to the sport, or access to a conversation about the sport, now has another place where they can do that. So we hope that the dohyo can be a place for this. Uh, since about 2016, I got really hooked with the whole Kisa no Sato uh, becoming a Yokozuna story. That really like was the thing that brought me in and made me like really, really love the sport. Love Kisa no Sato and we miss him a lot. Uh, personally, uh, I have a deep soft spot in my heart for Tochi Notion and the comeback he's made. Uh, I have a soft spot in my heart for Taka Keisho, the little fire hydrant of love. Uh, some people want to know how I feel about Abi. I like him. We're going to talk about that later, too. The rules of sumo are simple. There is a ring. If you step out of the ring, you lose. If you touch the ground with any part of your body but the soles of your feet, you lose. If you commit a foul, you lose. That's it. Tournaments are every eight weeks. They are 15 days long if you are in the top two divisions. Whoever wins the most matches wins the tournament. Six of them a year, and then if you win tournaments, you just keep being sumo awesome. That's just the way it rolls. I am not going to be doing a basic, these are all the terms of sumo, because someone's already done that. NHK, the Japanese network that produces Grand Sumo Highlights, has a whole series called Sumopedia. It's going to be in the links below. All these links are going to be in below, so don't worry. Tachiai.org is a great English language blog, and they've just started, or they've talked about starting a new website called Tachiai Times uh, in, uh, in the near future, if they haven't already gone live yet. So check both of those out for all of your sumo news. Also for sumo news, you might want to uh, look up John Gunning, who writes at the Japan Times. Now, he, I believe, is the only person writing in English about sumo who has actually been a professional rikishi. So he brings that there, and if you've watched any of the NHK highlights, he's almost always there as the very dry Irish gentleman who does not necessarily believe in a hobby. Also, on YouTube, Chris Sumo. That is a great channel for people who want to know more information about sumo. 
If you're trying to watch sumo, you check YouTube. Nato Sumo has a great thing. Kintamayama, although he has said he's going to be stepping back a little bit from it, he does the daily, uh, the daily matches as well. And NHK, if you have them, uh, or if you have the internet, you can just take the, uh, the highlight shows from them every day. After they're done showing them on the NHK Live, they will put them up on the internet for a few weeks so you can watch them there. Couple things if you're looking just for interesting facts and the history of Sumo. Sumo Reference has the stats from every single Basho that they have records for going all the way back. So if you're like wondering, like, I wonder if Amanishki ever beat Asa Shoryu, you can go back and check that out. It's an awesome reference. I've looked at it a lot. And in fact, it's been the basis of a lot of research we're going to be throwing at you. All right, now I just sort of want to know what you all want to talk about, because I definitely have things I want to talk about. We're going to be talking about who's going to be our next Yokozuna. We're going to be talking about predictions for 2020. We are going to be doing uh, just wrestler profiles and just diving into wrestlers, their fighting techniques, and their history. Let me know who you want to talk about, uh, what things you want to talk about, what controversies you want to talk about, and we will get that discussion going. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for coming to the dojo. Wow. Yeah.